All right. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Saturday. And on Saturday, we do back and biceps. So let's get ready for that. Let me move this over just a little bit. Hope you are ready. Hope you all got your weights. You have your workout drinks. Unfortunately, I don't have a workout drink today. All I have today is water. So it looks like all I'm going to be drinking today is going to be water. Nothing else. Um, but um, either way, I'm ready for today's workout. Let's... um. Ah, let's go to the basics. Well, my watch is done. It's dead. I don't even know why I'm wearing it. So it is absolutely dead. I forgot to charge. And I hate it, but I know that on average I burn 3,000 calories a day. That's on average lately. So good morning, Kelly. Good morning. And uh, so let's talk about let's talk about the basics. The basics is the workout is on the board. And uh, good morning, Marisol. Good morning. Um, make sure that you have the right equipment. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have good music. Good, loud, high pumping music. That's number two. Uh, number three, make sure that do your best to get a program. Find a program. Again, I'm going to say it again. On my website, on my website, you can get the perfect body shape formula, the app which will show you where you stand and how to get to your goal. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to the newsletter. By subscribing to the newsletter, you get a five-day program. Day one, you do this. Day two, you do this. Day three. So by day five, you are on your way to executing the program. Very simple. Get those things. All right. That way you get some benefit from these workouts. You're not here just throwing weights around. Have a purpose, all right? So, good morning, Maria. Good morning, Ceci. Good morning, everybody. Um, what else? Again, have the right equipment. Have the right weight. Make sure you have your workout drinks. Every time that I drink water, you all drink water or whatever your workout drink. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think that's it, man. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, play safe. Rest when you need it. If you feel dizzy, nauseous. Take five minutes of rest before you come back, at least, so that you don't die in the moment and then you're done with the workout. You're, you're better off resting five, six minutes and then just come back and you'll be okay. If there's an exercise you can't do, um, just we're gonna work with um, an experience. You're gonna you're gonna be able to perform other exercises. All right. Pay attention to the warm ups. And pay attention to my explanations because I give you alternatives. I give you um, other workouts and other ideas that you can do to execute to execute your your, your training. All right. So um, that's about it. That's about it. So pay attention. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or advanced. There's always ways to make the workouts harder. There's ways to make them easier. And you progress as you go. Eventually, you'll be able to like just keep up with me, keep up with the crew, and you'll be able to perform better and better and better. Remember, there's workouts on the library. Subscribe to the channel so you can get the alerts. The YouTube channel, sub subscribe to the Facebook, subscribe to the Instagram. Hit the like button. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, recommend it. Post your workouts, and uh, that's about it, man. That's about it. So we're going to get started. Remember the warm-up. We are warming up the shoulder blades today, a little bit of the chest, a little bit of the legs. Not a lot of the legs, but mostly mostly uh, shoulder blades. And the workout today consists mostly of a lot of core strength and things like that, and also posture. Make sure that you get good posture. We want to have the ability to retract, retract those shoulder blades as hard as possible. You gotta develop that ability. Once you develop that ability, um, 
you will get better with these workouts. So without further ado, let's get going. Let's get going. You guys see me right here? All right. One thing I forgot. I forgot my shoes. And I don't know where they are. So it looks like I'll be working out barefoot today. That's okay. I like working out barefoot. If I find them, Man, can you believe that I can't find my own shoes or my workout shoes? Oh man, where are you? All right. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. No shoes today. All right. So let's get going with the warm up. All right. Arm circles. So we are going to start with our arms wide. Try to keep them straight. And then. Retract your shoulder blades. So your shoulder blades come in, and then you hold, you hold that retraction, and we're gonna go with arm circles forward. So just here. And focus on your breathing. Always breathing, even this little exercise here, if you don't breathe right, you won't get dizzy just from doing this. You'll get nauseous just from doing this. So, right? A lot of oxygen. Bring your finger fingertips up like this to stretch out your, your forearms, to stretch out those uh, flexors, and then point them down to stretch out your, your extensors. Normal. And take it off and just go over and under. Right here, one arm, touches the back of the shoulder. The other one goes right under the armpit, just like this. Let your arms relax a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead, do the exact same thing. We're gonna retract, and then we are going to go in the reverse direction. So we are going to go, we're gonna open, and we're gonna go re retract the shoulder blades, tight, 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 and backwards. Now to really squeeze your back, your shoulder blade muscles, squeeze them together, pinch them together. Fingers down. Shoulders are getting very tight right now, they're starting to burn. And shake it off. Woo! Man, that is freaking burns my traps, burns my shoulder blades, burns everything. So that is an alternative for an exercise that you can't do, all right? That's an alternative. Take it off. We're going to go ahead and stretch the chest area a little bit. So palms on the thighs, push down on one side and feel the stretch. So you're going to open wide. Your fingers, put your hands on your thighs. If you put the palm, right, it just it just stabilizes your your wrist. But if you put your weight on the middle of your hand, that actually gives you more mobility. It's kind of like a stretch on your wrist. It hurts a little bit. It's a little uncomfortable, but it's great for you as long as you don't overdo it. So I put my the middle of my hand on my on my thighs. And then I turn, I twist. The side that I twist towards, and I put it, and I bend my elbow, I put my weight here, and I feel the stretch right here, and I feel the stretch on my wrist. That's what I want. We're going to go one, two, and then we're going to switch to the other side. One, two. We're going to keep switching for a few reps. Let's go. So one, two, other side. One, two. That's two. One, two. One, two. That's four. One. Two, one, two, that's six. One, two, one, two, that's eight. One, two, keep going. That's ten. One, two, one, two, that's twelve. One, two, one, 
two, sixteen. One, two, eighteen, two more. One, two, one, two. Oh, shake out that wrist. Shake it off. Woo! I love the feeling on my wrist. It's a little uncomfortable, but it is absolutely great for you. All right. Let's go with the march. Let's start warming up those hip flexors. One hand on the ear. The other arm kicks back. That knee goes up as high as possible. High as you can. Do not crunch down to try to reach. If you don't have the coordination, remember, try to bring the opposite elbow, opposite thigh, opposite, opposite knee. And then you switch. And you keep switching. All right? If you don't need to do a cross, unless you want to. If you want to do it and, and, and mobilize your, your hips, that's fine. But if you just want to learn to move correctly, it's, again, whatever arm kicks back, that's the leg that goes up. We got 15, 3, 2, 1, let's go. So 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Beautiful. All right. Next, we have the butt kick. So the butt kick, all you're doing is you're going to go, instead of going forward like this, you're going to go backwards and squeeze. I want you to feel that squeeze every single time you kick back. Squeeze, squeeze that hamstring, which is your bicep. So you want to make sure that you it's quick, but you also, bam, you contract, go back. Contract, go back, put on the leg. One, one, two, two. We are going to go for, same thing, 15. Three, two, one, let's go. So one, one. Squeeze it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Beautiful. All right, shake it off. Woo! All right. Let's get to some more dynamic. We're gonna do jumping jacks. Feet together. Arms go over. If you can't go, if you can't jump, side step. If you can't go sideways all the way up, go halfway. It still doesn't work, right? If you have messed up shoulders. Sometimes if you go forward, you can go all the way up or halfway. Choose your, your combination and then put it together. We got 20 jumping jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shake it off. Fantastic. Woo! All right. I think that's good. Uh, that's good for the warm-up. We don't have to do a lot today. All right. So let's get going with what's going to happen on the workout. All right. So on the workout, make sure you got some water. Uh, you should feel good. While I'm explaining the exercises, while I'm explaining the exercises, make sure that you stay warm. So stay moving. Keep doing arm circles. Um, do more jumping jacks, run in place, dance. I don't care what you do. Just stay active while I'm explaining the exercises. Because I stay warm explaining. I need you guys to stay warm and not get cold. Those of you who don't know, right, Olguita, I don't know if I said good morning to you, but good morning. Um, we start from exercise one to two to three to four to five. Today is five exercises. Then we're going to go back to four, three, two, one. So the first round, I call it the warm-up round. Grab a lightweight, go through the motions. You can start like with a, with a lightweight and then go into moderate, right? So, the, so ladder one, two, three, four, five, you do light. And then you go on the way back, you go moderate. So you switch the weights, four, three, two, one. 
Then the third round or the second round, you go heavy. You go heavier. So, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, and then you can go heavier, three, two, one, and you can go heavier, and you can keep adding weights and stacking more weights as you go. It's up to you. Or if you already know what your five rate max is, if you already know your program, then you hit, you execute your program. All right? So, with that being said, let's go through the workouts. Let's go through the workouts. All right, we are going to start with a super push up, push up to Superman's. Again, if you don't know how to do a push-up, this is a great way to really um, understand the push-up. So the exercise looks like this. We're going to be in a push-up position. We're going to go down. Reach. Right here. Come back. All right. So down. Reach. Up. Now. If you're really bad at push-ups, you can go from your knees. And what I want you to do, again, remember push-ups, do not push your way back. A lot of people tend to push back as they're going down, so the butt moves back. No, all right? You go forward, you keep everything, you let your chest fall forward, and you fall. You go into the Superman, and then you push up. Keep those knees in, I mean those elbows in, so turn them in, all right? And then kind of like just the squats. When we do squats, we grab the floor, right? We grab the floor, like we're trying to prevent something from picking us up, a spaceship. We grab the floor, that way we can move and twist without my hands moving. So I have to grab the floor in order to stabilize my arms and not let them slide as when I, when I twist. I got to grab the floor, I move, pull them forward, and then keep my elbows in, and I drive. So for this exercise, it's down, Superman, come back up. All right? Make sure you're falling forward. Don't be scared that I over hit my face. No, just fall forward. Do not go backwards. The elbow should not be going out. All right? We got 10. Then we have our single arm rows. Remember, we're doing these from now on. Every week we're going to do these so that we can focus on strength. And what I want you to do is, all right, so you start with a light weight. So for me, 35 is really light. Now, one hand on the thigh, facing one, facing straight one direction. My back is straight. You know, notice how my back is straight. I am not like this, and I'm not lifting like this. Some of you might have a lot of hard time keeping that back straight. Make sure you check out the posture corrector. It'll help you maintain that straight back. You should feel a nice kind of like pressure arch. You want to make, you want to arch, you want to activate that lower back. Keep everything straight, and pull, pull, all right? So, Always, when you want to do is like I'm, I'm a linebacker, and then I'm just going to tur turn my feet slightly, boom, get into a comfortable position. Twist my body, keep it straight, keep my chest up, and drive, right? You're going to go right down the middle, right down the middle. You're not going towards the pocket. You're not going high. Right down the middle, using your entire back. We have 10 and 10. 10. We got, we got twist curls. We got twist curls. So standing twist curls. So we're all about time efficiency. So we are going to go. And actually what we're going to do is let's do like a, like a, um, what we call in bodybuilding. We're actually going to alternate. Let's, let's try it. I was thinking like not alternating, but let's go. So basically you're just going to go here. One, one. Now I want you to squeeze. Two, two. Three, three. I want you to give me a good twist. Twist that wrist. Supinate. Squeeze that bicep. Keep that elbow in. Bring it down. Keep that elbow in. Bring it down. Retract your shoulder blades. Keep them down. This arm is straight. It's locked. All right. 
I'm going to go for 15 reps. One, one, two, two, 15. And actually, that single arm, it actually allows you to go a little heavier. So you can get a little bit of a momentum, a little bit of a kick. You can probably go a little bit heavier with the weights, which is probably what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to go a little heavier. So we got 15. From those 15s, we have back flies. So we're going to bend over right here like this. And then we're going to throw the weights back. All right. Just like this. Shoulder blades back, chest out. You can bring them together if you want, right here. Stay low. Now, do not make this mistake. Every time you throw them back, don't stand up, all right? Don't be moving up and down while you're doing the exercise. You get into your flat position, so you should be flat right here. Kind of like we do a row. The exact same position. I'm hip, I'm hip hinging. I'm nice and low, maybe a little bit higher than flat, than parallel. And then I stay there. I don't come up. I throw the weights back, but I don't come up. Make sure that when you kick them back, turn your wrist out a little bit this way. So external rotation. External rotation means I'm turning out. If you turn in, okay, if you go the other way, you see my, my you, now you see my knuckles instead of the front of my hand. So knuckles means external, I mean internal rotation. So knuckles means internal rotation. Palm means external rotation. Now, when you do the fly, you want to do external rotation slightly. You don't want to do internal rotation because what happens is then you go like this. And then you start shrugging. And I don't want you to shrug because most people have a problem with that. Don't shrug. Do external rotation. When you throw it back, slight, a small external rotation just to open up your chest and allow you to squeeze your, your upper back a little bit better. Well, we got 15 back flats. 15. And then, last but not least, we have a crab bridge. So what we're going to do with the crab bridge is we're going to be here. We're going to twist and we're going to push up as high as we can. We're going to come back on the other side. You start from the bottom. If you want to touch the floor, you can so you can get the maximum, maximum uh, expansion. But don't rest. Don't, like, don't, don't rest here. Just touch the floor and drive. Right? Drive up. You can put your hand here. Drive as high as you can. Come back to position, other side, up, you can go here, here, I don't really care when you have this arm, just be consistent, I'm going to keep it on my chest, right. I'm going to keep it on my chest, big extension, I want you to really raise that hip, all right, if you have a hard time doing all those turns, just stay in one spot right here, and just do a just raise your hip if you can. This is how you start. And you're going to do like, you're going to do five because we're doing 10 total. We're only doing 10. So you can do five and then switch to the other side. As you get more advanced, you get higher. You get higher. All right? But if you can twist, 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 we're going to do 10. Then we're going to go back to the flies. Again, you play with the weights. So for me, back flies, I like keeping it light. I like keeping it moderate, moderate to light. I don't like to go too heavy. I like controlling the weights. So for me, the back flies, I'm going to use 15s. Maybe go 20s. Maybe go 20s. Um, the curls, that one I might go heavier today. So I'm going to probably start with 15s. Then I'm going to go to 20s. Then I'll probably go to 30, 35, and maybe 52s because I'm doing that. But I probably won't go 52s. I'll probably keep it at 35s. All right? Probably the heaviest that I'm going to go. Um, single arm rows, I am going to go heavy. So I'm going to start with 35s, and I'm going to go to 52s. And then I'm going to set up, I'm going to set up the plates. Um, 
I'm going to set up a grade. So I believe these are 25s. All right, so 25s. And this is a 555, 65, 75, 85, 95. This is 95 pounds or 90 pounds. I'm not sure. Okay. So I'll have to wait myself, but I'll do that. I'll do it after, after the warm up. All right. So after the warm up, I'll, I'll check my weights. I want to make sure that I use the right weights. I think last week I used, um, I think it was 130. I think I used last week. So I might stick to that 130 for two weeks, and then I'll go up the week after. All right? So, all right. All right. Ceci, you can, can you hear me? So it's bad again? Is, 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 is it, is it, is it, uh, ah, oh, man. Is it bad? Is it back to the... Back to that thing. I'm not going to restart it, but it <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, man. All right. I'll check it out. I'll check it out when, I, when we finish the workout. But as long as you can hear me, uh, for now, we're good. Man. Missions, missions, mission. All right. Here we go. Woo. Water. Make sure you got, make sure you got your water. Get a little sip. And let's. Get going. So I got two bottles of water. I will be using two bottles of water. Ah, here we go. Let's kill, let's kill this workout. Woo! All right. Let's get down. We got push-ups. Push-ups to Superman. We got ten reps. Five more works for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So down and up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten. Beautiful. All right. Single arm rows, you get them. I'm starting with 35s, and I'll probably end it with 52s. We got 10 and 10. We should be able to go faster because we are going lighter on these first two rounds. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. Standing curls. I'll start with 20s. I'll start with 20s. Here we go. Remember, give me a good twist. Give me a very good twist. Three, two, one. Let's go. So one, one, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Let's go. 
10 10 11 11 12 12 come on 13 13 14 14 15 15 beautiful Woo! that feel great now we got the back flies we got 15 back flies remember so with a light weight focus on technique back flies is all about technique don't jerk the weights because you can't get hurt you could throw something off you have to be under control yeah you throw them back but you want to be controlled especially on the way down control and make sure you're squeezing, all right? Don't just go crazy with these back flies, all right? Here we go. We got 15. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Woo! Ah, those are not easy. Those are not easy. All right. We got the crabs. We got the crab. Remember, five more works for you. If you can do the full crab, do the full crab. We got 10, 3, 2, 1. So do a little twist. Come down. Come up. Go back. That's one. Now back. In this position, crab position. Raise that hip. That's two. Hip up. That's three. Hip up. That's four. Hip up. That's five. Hip up. That's six. Hip up. That's seven. Hip up. That's eight. Hip up. That's nine. One more. Hip up. That's ten. Woo! Make sure that you feel that push, that extension. Feel the stretch, okay? Don't just like throw it up and come back down. No. Push through. Retract that tricep. Squeeze that shoulder blade. All right? Feel the exercise. Don't just throw yourself around. Feel it. Feel that hip coming up. Feel that extension. Feel that stretch. Feel that contraction. Feel that stabilization. Don't just go through the motions, all right? Put in the work. Back to the back flies. We have 15. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, beautiful, all right, twist curls, so I use 20s, first round, I'm going to use 25s, and see how it feels with 25s, because it is a lot of reps, it is a lot of reps, so let's see how it goes, so I'm using 25s, 3, 
two, one, let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, oh yeah, that felt great, so I didn't feel too bad, I'm getting a pump, for sure I'm getting a pump, but you can see my veins are going to start popping out real soon, um, so I feel good, so I'm going to stick to the 25s for now, that was a really good list, I don't need the 20 anymore, alright, now we got table on rows, I'm going to go 52s, yeah, I'm gonna go, I started with light, now I'm gonna go to moderate. So 10 and 10, 10 and 10. Couple deep breaths. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, the other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. Push ups. Two. Superman's. We got ten. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So, push up. Superman. That's one. Down. Superman. That's two. Down. Superman. That's three. Down. Superman. That's four. Down. Superman. That's five. Down. Superman. That's six. Down. Superman. That's seven. Down. Superman. That's eight. Down. Superman, that's nine, one more, down, Superman, that's ten, Woo. and that is the end of round one, fantastic, so, a simple workout, right, simple, Uh, you still you should still be able to get a nice little sweat. And uh, all right, strategy round two. So I'm gonna go heavy with the single arm. <laughs> simple, right? Simple. Um, we're gonna go heavy round two. So I'm gonna fix my weight. I believe it's 130. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for 130. <laughs> Pero vale, dale duro, porque está mejor. Let me see how much I weigh. Right now I'm weighing. Right at this moment, 184. 184. Yeah. 
in these ways, well, I'm going to say nine pounds. So it'll probably say two, 274. What? 274. So this is 90 pounds. 90 pounds. So I need to add. I need to add 40 pounds. That means I gotta add four on each side. All right, so one, two, three, four. Four plates. So get yourself ready. Get everything you need. I'm gonna use straps. I gotta save my grip for Olympic lifting today. I gotta save my grip for Olympic lifting. Alright, so three. And four. Here we go. Beautiful. All right, so but we are starting with Superman's uh, structure over here. All right, here we go. One more little sip, one more little sip of water, and we'll get this party going. Yes, yeah, Maria. I know you're using big weights. I know Cess is using big weights. I think we're all using big weights. Alright, here we go. We got 10 push up to Superman's. So remember, two rounds. If you want to keep going heavier, you can keep adding weights right as you go. That's called, that's called um, stacking, right? You're stacking weights. And um, or you can have the weight that you know you're going to use for me is this one. Now, I'm only going to do sets of five. I am only going to do sets of five, so then I'll keep counting to ten. Why? My program is strength training. All right? So you guys understand strength training. The, when you hear the board says ten, but I'm going to shoot for five, and I'll count to ten to give you guys time to finish your ten. And, of course, it also, I'm going to have a longer break. The heavier you lift, the less reps you do, and the longer your breaks. All right, here we go. You have that floor. All right, spaceship is over here. You're gonna grab the floor so it doesn't pick you up. We got 10. Three, two, one, let's go. So, down and up. One, down and up. Two, down. Up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, Down, up, nine, down, up, ten. Beautiful. Single arm rows. Single arm rows. Here we go. Straps. I don't want to tear out my grip. I'm still going to grab, but I don't want to depend on my grip. All right, here we go. I'm going for five. If you're going for 10, get your 10, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. All right, here we go. Catch your breath. Other side. If you're going lighter, you don't need as much rest. Okay? Here we go. So I'm going for, I'm going for five. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Standing twist curls. So I'm going to do one round of 25s, and I'll try, I'll do 35s on the last round, all right? I don't want to really overstimulate my biceps there. I want to stimulate them a little bit, but not a lot. All right, here we go. 15, three, two, one, let's go. One, one, two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, beautiful. Woo! Ah, uh, oh yeah, I feel. I feel that, that, uh, that pump. Here we go. We got back flies. We got back flies. We got 15. Slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Get in position. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Beautiful. Woo! And then we have crab bridges. We have the crab bridges. Here we go. We got 10 crab bridges. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So, twist, drive that hip. That's one. Turn around. On the side, get to the floor, drive, that's two. On the side, drive, that's three. All right, stretch it out, go, stretch, that's four. Drive, that's five, slow and control, let's go. Up, six. Seven. Up. Eight. Up. Nine more. Up. Ten. Woo. I love that little pause. Get that max stretch. Get myself into that high big point. Hold it. Squeeze the shoulder blades, stick out that chest, get those hips. You're going to feel it on the obliques as well because you're stretching. Right? You should feel that. 
in a lot of different places. All right, a lot of different places. Grab something to drink, get a chug. And let's get this back, guys. Woo! We got 15, 15 back flies. Woo! Ah, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get low. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, beautiful, all right, we got these twist curls, we got 15, Ooh, a little bit of a stretch, I love this stretch, hands on the butt, and then push on your butt, and just lean back, oh. awesome stretch on my wrist, forearms, Chest and shoulders. Here we go. Let's get these curls. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, five more, eleven, eleven, twelve. 12, 13, 13, 14, one more, 15, ah, 15, Woo. outstanding, shake it off, couple deep breaths, get ready for your heavy lift, if you're going heavy, if you're going 10, you're going 10, I can even move this with my leg. Here we go. Woo! Here we go. All right. Got my straps. All right. Five for me, ten for you. Unless you're going heavy, you're getting five as well. All right? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, on the side. Catch your breath. Get this other side. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Woo! Superman's push ups to Superman's last round. Let's go. So we got this one, and then we got our final round. Here we go. Woo! 
One. Let's finish strong. Three. Two. One. Get in push up position. Let's go. That's one. That's two. Up. Huh? Down. That's three. Up. Huh? Down. That's four. Up. Huh? Down. That's five. Up. Huh? Down. That's six. Up. Huh? Down. That's seven. Down. That's eight. Down. That's nine. Down. That's ten. Woo! Grab some new drink. And we got our last round. So we're starting at two, two to five, and back. Uh, get your drink. Get your drink on. Here we go. Grab your straps if you need them. We got five. Here we go. Woo! All right. More tight. Remember now, guys, for strength training, right? Technically, I can probably do about eight to ten of these. If I was to just go for eight to ten and go hundred percent max, I'd be, I'd be able to get eight to ten. But for strength training, you wanna you wanna be at that percentage of your one of your ten rep max. So this is about my ten rep max, but I only want to execute five reps and leave. A few reps in the tank. So I'm not going for failure. Don't think that I'm going for failure with these five reps. I'm not. But it is a 10 rep max. If I tried to do 10 reps, I wouldn't be able to do more than 10 reps. So the idea of strength training is to find that intensity and do the weights required. And everything is different. Strength, muscle, and power. Three different things. All right. All right. Here we go. All right, we got five reps. Three, two, one, get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, couple deep breaths. Other side, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Woo! We got these curls. I'm sticking to a 25, so I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go any heavy. Because I'm doing Olympic lifting, and I don't want my arm to be for Olympic lifting. I don't want to be naturally in this position, right? I don't want to be like this. I need my, my biceps stretched out. So I'm putting out the foam roll right after this. Or stretch out my foam, my 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 biceps. I want to have my arms straight, not slightly bent. Because after this workout, if you're going heavy with these bicep curls, you're not going to be like this. You're not going to stay like that. Make sure you stretch. But you are going to have this muscle tight. So you're going to be, you know, temporarily, you're going to be walking around a little bit bent. But you want to be straight. All right? Here we go. 15. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1. 
One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, come on, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15. Beautiful. Wow. All right. We got these back flies. Now the bridge, the hip bridge, it's actually, that's not what was keeping me level because I do get a stretch when I do that hip bridge. I really push up and I really force my arm to stay straight and get a stretch on my arm, get a stretch on my chest, get a stretch on my, on my hips. So that's what you want to do. Full stretch. All right. Back flies. You got 15. Ready? Three, two, I'm gonna face the back. One, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, half, fourteen, fifteen. Beautiful. Woo! Now we got the crab bridges. I love this one, man. Seriously, I love it just how technical and how functional this workout is. This, this exercise. Great stretch, great mobility movements. You need mobility, right? Awesome, awesome exercise. All right, we got 10. No matter what, starting with a, but basically you're gonna be, instead of being in a push-up position, a plank position, you're gonna be in a quadruped position, right? You don't wanna be like this. Be in this position, you can twist a little easier, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. So here, drive, stretch, that's one. Drive, stretch, that's two. Drive, stretch, that's three. Drive, stretch, that's four. Drive, stretch, that's five. Drive, stretch, that's six. Drive, stretch, that's seven. Drive, stretch, that's eight. Drive, stretch, that's nine. Drive, stretch, that's ten. Ten of that exercise. Woo! Just follow it up with. Hands on the butt, stretch. Oh man, that feels great. All right, now we got back flies. 15. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14. Ah, 15. Woo! Come with this. We got twist cross, standing twist cross. Woo! Last out of these. We got 15. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, come on, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. 14, 15, wow, 15, beautiful, all right. Done with those, what we got left is single arm rows, single arm rows, grab those straps if you need them, Woo. let's make it count, Get those five good reps, ten good reps, whatever your program is, Rest. All right. Here we go. Five and five. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, woo! Other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. Woo! All right. Last but not least, push ups to super rams. Woo! Here we go. All right. Last ten. Done. Remember, give me your best, best reps possible. Ready? Three, two, grab the floor. Spaceships is over your head. One, let's go. Down, Superman. Up. One, down, Superman. Up. That's two. Down. That's three. Down. That's four. Down. Up. That's five. Down. Up. That's six. Down. Up. That's seven. Down. Up. That's eight. Down. Up. That's nine. One more. Down. Up. That's ten. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of your workout. Woo! Ah. Ah, Maria. Remember, keep it light. Wear your strap and stretch out your forearms. 
Stretch out those forearms. You need to get more mobility. And you need to stretch those extend those uh, flexors more than anything. These you gotta stretch it out. You gotta use um, um, a machine gun, right? Uh, a gun. I think on my website I also have this thing. Uh, they're called acupuncture, acupressure pens. They're supposed to be popular. I haven't tried them yet, but they work like a gun. But you more specifically, like it's smaller, so you can massage. You can massage your um. And then stretch. So the, the point of foam rolling, the point of um, self myofascial release, and this trigger point, acupressure, acupuncture without the pricking, right? The point of those is to get those nuts, loosen them up, but you have to follow it up with a stretch. And stay light. Don't go heavy um, for a little while and wear, wear your strap. So, whew. oh, the, the, the acupressure pens. $40, the acupressure, yeah. I think on my website, I have it for less. So, um, I don't know what, what you're talking about. So, um, but if it's the acupressure pen, I think I have them for like 30 bucks on my website. So, all right. But yeah, man, take care of that. Take care of that. Take, uh, um, oh, you're talking about, yeah, yeah, you're talking about the gun. Yeah, the, <laughs> you're talking about the, the cheap ones. I, I, one of my friends has one, the cheap ones. And, uh, it's very, very, very different. I'll tell you that much from the hyperized, uh, the hyperized gun versus the cheap versions. Uh, most people don't know about it. I mean, it's probably the cheap gun is probably more than enough, right? I think it's more than enough. Um, but in terms of battery life, I don't know. And it's much lighter. It's like a toy. So I don't know. Um, I think a little heavier can get deeper if, you, if, you, if it's a little bit heavier. But I mean, um, I guess that's based on what your needs are. All right. So, um, but I, I think, um, my opinion, honest opinion, I think it's, uh, probably just as good. I just don't know the quality. I don't know how long the battery will die, et cetera. I don't, I don't know the warranty, but, um, uh, from the experience though, it's more than enough, right? It's not, it's not better, but it's more than enough for what most people need it for, you know? So. All right, guys, thank you so much for showing up. Thank you so much for getting this workout in. Hit that like button, share your workouts, share your videos, and I'll see you guys on Monday for chest, shoulders, triceps, and we'll keep training hard. We'll keep killing it, man. Marisol, Ceci, Maria, Olguita, Kelly, everybody. Fantastic job. I'll see you all on the next one. Woo! <laughs> uh, all right guys <laughs> have a great weekend everybody thank you thank you all i'll see you i'll keep you guys updated all right make sure you stay up to date on everything hugs kisses see you on the next one